Uh, I, I want to pause pause there on the thyroid because uh, you, you're bringing up something that I wanted to ask you about with the desiccated thyroid. I mean, mm-hmm. most commonly patients are probably being prescribed a synthetic uh, thyroid medication like a Synthroid. So can you right. just explain a little bit there on why you're using a desiccated thyroid over something like a Synthroid? So m- most patients do, as you point out, they are prescribed levothyroxine or Synthroid, and that is T4 only. And T4 is inactive. So in order for you to use it and see a benefit from T4, it has to be converted into T3, the active form. But if you lack an an adequate amount of the enzyme that facilitates the conversion of T4 into T3, we could give you T4 all day and it's not going to raise it to a therapeutic level and you're not going to see any improvement. As I said, everything we do is, you know, based on what the medical literature has shown. And the medical literature shows that when giving a combination of both T3 and T4, you get better symptom resolution. So that's why we use that. Insurance companies will mostly cover the levothyroxine. They don't cover Armour or uh, NP thyroid, which are both uh, combinations of T3 and T4. But generally, they don't cover that. Yeah. So that's why most primary care providers use um, Synthroid or Levothyroxine. 